Welcome to the Curriculum Cafe videos. During this video, we will be taking a look at Kim Sutton's place value pockets and how we can use them daily to help our students develop a strong number sense and place value understanding. This number sense helps students with divisibility rules, the meaning of fractions, and of place value. Students begin by building their place value pockets and digit cards. Once students have these ready to go, we can begin work with working with students to give them clues to numbers based on their grade level. This example we will be doing is a level two, which means third through fifth grade level example. Feel free to follow along and try to guess my number as I go through this example. Clue number one is three thirds of the digits are odd. This clue gives me a lot of information. Number one, I know that I'm dealing with, the, with a three digit number. And second, I know that the digits are all odd. A student might guess 593. You can have students check their neighbor's numbers to make sure that it satisfies the clue, three thirds of the digits are odd. Clue number two is the number is less than 500. Based on the example I just did, I have a few numbers to switch out to make sure that I follow the, the rule less than 500. I decided to switch my digit in the hundreds place to a one. Again, you can have students check their neighbor's number to make sure that the number satisfies both three thirds of the digits are odd and that the number is less than 500. The next clue is two thirds of the digits are the same digit. Again, I decided to, to change my digit in the hundreds place. I decided to go with a three as it is still an odd digit and it will keep my number less than 500. And now I have two of the three digits the same. The next clue is the difference between the digit in the tens place and the ones place is two. Well, in my example, the difference between nine and three is not two. So I have some changes I need to make. By switching my digit in the tens place to a five, now the difference between my digits in the tens place and the ones place is a two. Now I satisfy that rule. The next clue is at least one of the digits in my number is the wheels on a tricycle. This clue I happen to satisfy without changing any. Depending on the number that you have, you may need to switch some, some numbers around. Remember to have students check their neighbor's numbers to make sure that they still satisfy all of the other clues that we've been given. My last clue is the digital root is seven. Now, if you don't know what a digital root is, just know that it is simply the sum of all of the digits in a number until you have a single digit sum. The digital root of my current number is three plus five plus three, which is 11. But since that's still not a single digit, I continue adding. So 11 is one plus one, which is a two. So the digital root of 353 is two. The clue said that the digital root is seven. So I have some numbers to switch. If I replace my digit in the tens place with a one, then my digital root would be three plus one plus three, which is seven. It works. Since that was the last clue, I now have to make sure that my number still satisfies all of my previous clues. If you satisfied all of your clues as well, you will have 313 as your number. This is an easy way to get students thinking about numbers in terms of fractions, in terms of greater and less than place value. Um, we also did some divisibility rules in there, as well as addition and just some number sense. If you want to start incorporating these, incorporating these place value pockets into your daily instruction, we have various resources to help you get started. If we start on the OMSD Simbaloo homepage, you will click into the curriculum and instruction page. From there, you will scroll down to our math resources website. Once here, you will select the side tab labeled math intervention and Kim Sutton materials. You will scroll past the readiness assessments that we have for math intervention, and you will find all of our Kim Sutton resources. The place value pockets and digit cards are all available here in both a printable and a virtual format. The printable version has the digit cards and pockets ready for you to print and cut for your students. The place value pocket goes from ones to thousands, also hundreds, thousands, hundred millions, 
and then even a decimal format depending on what your students are working on. We also have a variety of place value clues that you can use in your class. Each of the clues has a level one, a level two, and a level three of clues. Feel free to play around with these clues and use them with your students as needed. We also have a virtual place value pocket that you can use with your students. This place value pocket comes in ones and tens place value, hundreds place value, thousands, ten thousands, and decimals. And students can manipulate the digit cards on a digital format if that's easier for them to work with. If you have any additional questions on how to use these place value digit cards in your class, feel free to reach out to me at rosagutierrez at omsd.net.